Uh, regarding the full self-driving beta release, uh, the Autopilot team, uh, again, just a really all-star team. Um, I spent a lot of time with the with the Autopilot team, and there's just a, a lot of really talented people in that team who've worked incredibly hard to make the to get get the, the beta release out. Uh, so I just really like to, to thank them for their their hard work, um, and uh, it's just a, it's just a very smart group of people. So. Um, I think we're starting very slow and just very cautiously um, because the world is a, a complex, messy place. And so we we're, um, you know, we, we put it out there last night, and then we'll, we'll see how it goes, and then uh, probably release it to more people uh, this weekend or early next week, um, and then just gradually step it up um, until we have uh, hopefully a wide release by the end of this year. Um, and, and of course, as the system collects more data, and uh, it, be it becomes more robust, um, so um, it, it's sort of like you know, how, how does Google as a search engine get better? It's because everyone is programming it by asking it questions all the time and clicking on particular links. So it's got this great feedback loop, um, and that that makes it a, an extremely effective uh, search engine. Um, it's the same thing for autonomy. Um, having on the order of a million cars. Uh, that are providing feedback and, and specifically feedback on, on strange corner case situations that you just can't even come up with in simulation. Uh, this is the thing that is really valuable. It's not like the, 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 the obvious stuff. Obvious stuff you can do in simulation. Um, but weird, weird corner cases, uh, only reality can, can give you that. So uh, that's, but, but we're able to say, okay, we need to train the system on this corner case situation uh, and, and look for examples so we can we can then uh, train against those examples and improve uh, some very esoteric corner case. Um, and um, also important to emphasize that this is a generalized uh, neural net based approach. Uh, there is no need for high definition maps or a cell phone connection. So the, the car, the, the system is designed such that even if you have no connectivity whatsoever, and you're in a place that you have never been to before, and no Tesla has ever been there, the car should still be able to drive, just like a person. Uh, that is the system that we are developing and uh, aiming to release uh, this year. Um, then in terms of capacity build out, 